Hello everybody, this is Sword SC2 here yet again with another StarCraft cast. And we are going to be on our main, our main account for streaming. It is going to be Stream Sword, spawning in the bottom left corner, versus our Protoss opponent named Bonkaroonie. So Bonkaroonie is a 4.9k Protoss player. He's at the very, very top of the 4.9k. I think when I saw the loading screen, it was 4,998. So just around 5k, so that's pretty low. I mean, like, that's in low GM territory for the NA region at the moment. Looks like he's going to be going for a gateway pretty early on here, and I'm going to be going for a barracks, so everything is pretty standard here going to be going for the gas as well and this is one of the newer maps so I'm not really too familiar with how it goes I haven't been watching too many pro games either so I'm not entirely sure what the the meta is but uh, one thing that can happen it looks like is possibly like a some type of proxy void ray here could be pretty good to reinforce it looks like there is a couple of areas for reapers to jump into the main base which makes it pretty hard for Protoss players to do any form of walling off because it looks like you can jump up up here and it looks like you can jump up up here so they could possibly wall this one off with a gateway cyber core but um, then you could just jump up from this side but uh, I feel like this side is more protected because I mean you're gonna have your nexus and your gateway or your nexus down here uh, but anyway Going to be sending my SCV across the map, going to be scouting out to see if they have an expansion or not. And there's already a little red flag in my mind, I'm like, oh, okay, he doesn't have a natural expansion. I am going to start panicking a bit. So instead of going for the CC on the low ground, I immediately start a refinery and I'm going to start um, just getting ready for some pressure. So one thing that I'm not entirely sure about is place of the bunker right here. I feel like it might have been... Uh, possibly better to lift up the barracks push it back a little bit and then start the bunker right here just so that uh, these supply depots are a little bit more protected I also send an SCV over here I think this one was event actually going to start the one at my natural or start my natural base but um, I instead wanted to send it over here because I thought it was going to be proxy void rays in this game so I was going to start a um, a proxy base but uh, this game it just looks like he's doing some early zealot pressure I don't micro that the exact uh, very well at all lose two SCVs for pretty much free and uh, yeah I'm still kind of concerned because I, I didn't know what was up I believe I sent uh, the Reaper and the SCV across the just around the proximity of my base to scout for something like proxy gateway or proxy uh, stargate starting like shield battery somewhere or something but I couldn't find anything as of yet looks like my reaper is just uh, going to miss this uh, probe which is right outside of my main base and in the meantime my opponent is going to be going for the dark shrine and twilight council so I'm going to be sending my Reaper into his base, and I do note that he has a Nexus started. So I'm not as concerned, but I'm not entirely sure what is going on. I do believe that I saw the second gateway. I think uh, I'm, or er, whoops, I don't believe that I saw the uh, Robo. I think when happened when I was playing this game was I saw this I was like oh it's a another gateway because I didn't actually click on the buildings but that is a straight up robo and in the meantime I do have this base almost completed at this point I'm kind of stuck in my base because I don't really know what's happening and I wanted to start getting some counter pressure because I did see his natural expansion so I start going for banshees with cloak at least forcing something to happen he does have this uh, proxy um, pylon at my third base and at this point I do see the um, see the little shimmer and I do see the dark templar so I'm like okay great and I try and repair this reactor but I don't get the reactor repair in time but I do hold position the SCVs but that also wasn't quite uh, done in time and I do get the scan right in the middle and he isn't able to pick off the tech lab I'm actually not entirely sure why he was focusing this down I think he might have thought it was a raven or something like that um, but 
regardless, it was researching, so he probably knows that is cloak. And he is also starting up an observer and rallying it into his main base, so he definitely knows. I'm not entirely sure. If he kind of like spread out the Dark Templar or went for some SCVs, that could have done a little bit more damage there. In the meantime, I have my natural expansion, but I haven't been consistently producing, or I call it my natural expansion, but this is just a hidden base. I haven't been consistently producing SCVs, so it only has two up there. And my Banshee is going to be going to his main base, going to be focusing down one probe, going to be cloaking up, but uh, he does have vision, so I'm going to be running this Banshee out, uncloaking it, since it's just a waste of energy at this point, since he is attacking my cloaked Banshee. I know he has some form of detection. And do I actually see that pylon? I do not. Okay, so I'm just going to be grouping up these Banshees in order to try and one-shot some probes uh, going forward here. In terms of Eunice loss, he's killed off uh, four of my SCVs. I've killed off only one of his probes. But we're in an okay spot, and actually we're getting up a third base here. He still doesn't know about this base, and I'm still not producing SCVs consistently because I'm a great player. And these Banshees are just going to be taking a bit of a coffee break as they eventually start moving again. I think they should be going towards the third base because I kind of wanted to confirm if he's making it or not. Most of the time, Protoss players will be expanding at uh, the 4 minute to 4 minute 30 mark. And uh, at this point, he's not getting it, but that also he this game is just really weird, so timings are all kind of off. I do eventually scout this out with my Banshees, and do I actually do anything with it? Uh, yeah, so I start attacking the Dark Shrine with these Banshees. Going to be doing some absolutely pointless micro with the Banshees. It kind of did something because it pulled the Banshees away from a possible attack angle. And it looks like I'm focusing down one Stalker, two Stalkers, not able to pick up one. And because my micro was a little bit off, I lose both of my Banshees. I think if I did that better, I could have killed off all of these Stalkers without losing the Banshees. But in the meantime, just going to be continuing to build more bases. I get a couple of Missile Turrets because I know that he still has the possibility of Dark Templar since I didn't kill off the Dark Shrine. I would have liked to see a Missile Turret in my main base in case of things like this, you know, the War Prism, but um, it is what it is. Going to be saturating my natural expansion here. Again, not consistently producing SCVs. Oh, there we go. But now I'm supply blocked. So, <laughs> going to be dropping down some supply, it looks like, and uh, producing a ton more uh, supply depots. The War Prism is positioned right above my main base so he can drop off something at any time. He's going to be scouting out what's going on with a probe. He does see my natural expansion. Is that going to cause him to go into my main base? Looks like not quite yet. And in the meantime, what am I doing? Looks like I'm just contis consistently taking up. I have now five barracks because I have I have a lot of income at this point. I have like 2.4k income and he still really doesn't uh, know about this base, which is really great for me. It's got 20 SCVs, I believe. I transferred some SCVs to it earlier just because I, I, had, I didn't think he was going to see it, and I was correct. So right as I move out, uh, I did kill one of his units. He moves in with the uh, Warp Prism and drops off a couple of Zealots as well as a couple of Dark Templar. And because of it, this is going to be a little bit hard to deal with. That scan was absolutely atrocious. And the, the Dark Templar just get uh, dropped off here yet again. The missile turret started a little bit late and the Widow Mines were burrowed, so we are going to be able to pick off the Dark Templar, it looks like, at the very least. Looks like there are a lot of Zealots over here and a couple of Archons. And we are going to be doing some Stutter Step, but that is a lot of Zealots. And because of it, I don't think we're going to be able to do too much more here. I think the Widow Mines got some decent hits, but uh, there were a lot more Zealots than I was prepared for. He also has plus one, plus one, and we only have plus one attack for our units. Looks like the Widow Mines are going to be getting a little bit more value. 
and the zealots are going to be eventually taking them down this war prism has been a thorn in my side for quite a while here going to be attacking in the choke point for the ramp which is a great decision by me since the zealots can't get the full surround and the archons are going to do a bit of damage to my units here i that micro could have been punished a lot if he focused fired some of the bio that was kind of clumped up together there but luckily for me he did not and we are going to be able to clear up everything in the natural expansion but for the time being our main base is looking pretty bad he's killed off 27 workers total this game and I think the only thing that's really keeping us in the game is the hidden expansion. We still have 47 SCVs, uh, um, now up to 49. And the War Prism, the Dark Templar is still doing damage in my main base. I should really be throwing down a couple more missile turrets just on the proximity to deal with this War Prism. But uh, I don't learn. So there's that. <laughs> um going to be picking off this Dark Templar, but uh, a new Dark Templar is just going to be killing off more SCVs in my main base. Going to be getting uh, 3 kills, 5 kills, 6 kills, that's good, 7. Eventually get the energy for another scan. Going to be finishing a uh, second engineering bay. I still do not have um, a third engineering bay to start up my plus 2, plus 2, and I don't have an armory as well. I say third because I believe I had one and then it was killed by the Dark Templar. It looks like I do see this pylon now and I'm going to be picking at it with a siege tank from the high ground. Just going to be playing more defensive while we try and kind of reestablish everything. Again, not consistent SCV production. Because why would I why would I do that? Why would I have consistent SCV production when I don't have full nat saturation at my natural expansion? Or my main base for that matter, you know? That seems ridiculous. So, while the turrets were constructing, he does get the warp in in my main base. He's going to be canceling uh, some of them. And the missile turrets are just about to finish here. Going to be resuming the construction of one of them. And it looks like I'm going to be throwing down another base over here. It looks like I had too many SCVs over here. So I started to do some long distance mining to this um, base over here. Which isn't a bad decision, although very suboptimal. I do have a lot of bio at this point, and if we look at the army supply, I'm actually slightly ahead of our opponent. A Dark Templar is going to alert him of an attack coming in, and this time he is not going to be um, sending the War Prism in. We do have a fair amount of turrets in our main base now, and it looks like I'm actually rallying into the main base as well. So we should be okay against the Dark Templar attack. He might have uh, seen uh, some of my SCVs um, moving towards this side of the map. And <laughs> this is the best scan. This is, Dark Templar is definitely in range of the missile turret. But I'm just like, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to scan. I see it, but I'm going to scan way before any units are in position. That was just like the most panicked scan. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I think I'm just like all over the place because of how hectic this game is. The only reason I made this base was because I thought he was doing a proxy uh, void ray all in. Look at that stim. I'm... This is extremely lucky from me. Oh, okay, that was a terrible move command as well. The fact that he attacked into my army when I already stimmed. He could have just easily pulled back and forced me to do another stim and these medevacs are kind of running low on energy as well. So I I hurt my I hurt my units a lot by doing that stim. Looks like uh, we have a fair amount of widow mines here and going to be burrowing them. And going into the natural expansion. At this point he actually doesn't have too many more units. We have 54 army supply and he does have a fair amount although I actually don't know where it is it might be all in the main base a Colossus is going to be coming up here and we have killed a fair amount of workers here killed off 25 and the zealots are going to get on top of this tank we aren't going to be able to do too much here since all of our units are kind of red because I stemmed like a, like a dumbo going to be running in and that colossus swipe just completely decimated what little army that i had left here looks like a widow mine went off it could have possibly hit this colossus i'm not entirely sure what that killed or attacked 
and we are going to be retreating just for a little bit to consolidate our forces. We do have uh, 50... Oh, I'm looking at the worker supply, not the army supply. Oh my goodness. We have 70 army supply to his 30. That would explain a lot. I was looking at the wrong thing this entire time. Whoopsie daisies. And we are going to be attacking into his third base. Going to be stimming up over here. Attacking in the base. Focus firing it down. He isn't in position. And he also really doesn't have the army to defend this. So he's just going to let all the probes die. Not even going to try and defend it. Just kind of uh, consolidating all the forces that he can. In the meantime, I'm going to be picking off the Dark Templar Shrine that, uh, or the Dark Shrine that was a thorn in my side for the entire game. Going to be picking off this pylon. And at this point of the game, I think I might have uh, been concerned about uh, some hidden bases because when players do some cheeky strats like the. Um, the proxy Dark Templar stuff, they tend to do other cheeky stuff like hiding bases. And I mean like I'm doing something pretty cheeky myself this game. Ever since we constructed the missile turrets, the warp prism has been quite idle, which is great for me. I don't have to worry about it anymore. He really doesn't have any minerals in order to warp anything in, to be fair. So he can't really do too much. We do see that he has warped in a handful of sentries and that is something that uh, could possibly win him the game. And we are going to be, again, just kind of going around the map. This looks uh, a little ridiculous because of how far ahead into the game, I, or just how far ahead I am, but I really wasn't sure of like the status of his base count and stuff like that. Instead of doing the smart thing of spreading like a single marine to each base, I used my entire army because I was... Um, <laughs> I was probably just filled with adrenaline, to be honest. I do see that the force fields were placed down, and I was like, okay, this is one way that I can definitely lose the game is by attacking into a choke point with a bunch of sentries and colossus. So I instead take it a little bit slower, going to be picking off the debris here to try and get uh, a decent position here. He throws down some force fields, but a lot of my units are still attacking the zealots, and going to be doing some stutter step just a little bit to move some of the marines forward. My opponent says, better lucky than good, huh? And, <laughs> I mean, he did eventually scout the base over here, and I actually, I, did he, I don't actually know what happened to it. I, I'm a great observer, as great of an observer as I am a player, so... <laughs> It is what it is, I'm sorry that I didn't capture that. And, um, yeah. This was a very hectic game. I played it on stream. And I hope you guys all enjoyed it, and I will see you guys next time.